You're looking at the upcoming May BTO and you're a little confused which one to apply for. Don't worry about that, this video is going to help you out. What's up? My name is Elliot, welcome, welcome. May BTO is bringing us about 3,000 to 4,000 units in 4 districts and 5 different sites. So that's about the same as February. Now of course we'll be going through each site one by one and of course stick to the end if you want to see which of these sites is my personal favourite. Let's go. Let's begin with the first site in the east at Badok. 1,630 units with 2, 3, 4, 5 and 3rd generation housing located near the Upper Changi Road in a developed neighbourhood with a ton of amenities. Now, right off the bat, this particular BTO has every single housing unit available. So if you want that variety, this BTO seems to be really good in that aspect. Uh, looking at the map here, for schools, this particular site is near TPJC, two primary schools here and here, and three secondary schools. It's also near a marketplace and amenity towards the north up here, and a food centre a 10 minutes walk away down the road. You also got a small neighbourhood park over here, but if you really want to go to a good, really nice park, you might as well just go over to the East Coast Park, which is about a 10 minute bicycle ride, you know, in terms of walking, not really feasible. But if you have a bike, and if I think you would have if you live in around this area, it's quite nearby. You're also near a sports complex and 5 minutes to Tana Mera MRT, which makes this development really, really accessible. If you're looking at a little bit more of a future potential for the site, Let's look at the master plan. Our site is over here with a plot ratio of 3.5. Now the condos and surrounding HDB around this BTO site is a lot lower in terms of plot ratio at about 2.5. Now what that means is that you're going to get great unblocked views if you're going to get like maybe like level 10 or level 11 or higher, which is really good. Now if we look towards the south of this site, there is a bit of a master plan redevelopment of the Bayshore area and you can check that out on the URA website as well, which is going to be an integrated transport hub together with some parks and of course it's going to introduce a little bit of amenity. Now what that means is that it's going to attract more interest into the Bayshore area. Combining the interest together with this being the only BTO in Badok in maybe 3 to 4 years, this makes this a really good exit option for people looking to, you know, eventually sell their BTO for some kind of uh, monetary gain. Our next site, we have a BTO at the Kalang Wampau area. 570 units for 3, 4 bedrooms and we're located in the Farrah Park area. So if you guys watched my previous video, you would know that I did make a small prediction that there will be indeed more BTOs coming up in this area to support a small rejuvenation in the Farrah Park area. But before I get into the rejuvenation stuff, let's see what we have in the area right now. Right off the bat, not much recreation right now, but a few proposed parks and sports complex are planned to be built right down here by the time you move in. Of course, near Little India, you get a ton of food, probably Indian food. So if you like Indian food, that's pretty awesome. A few major malls close by and you get a police station and a hospital as well. So that's really great if you want to feel safe geographically as well as physically. You also have a food court near the MRT, both of which are five minutes away. So that's really great for accessibility. If we jump into the master plan, we get to see our site is right here with a plot ratio of 3. Now that means you're gonna get blocked by this BTO of 4.1 over here but in every other direction you're going to be offered quite a good view because the surrounding buildings are kind of low light. Down here you got the Istana which is a government you know blocked off area and PUB waterworks here so not too much interesting stuff going on there. Some schools nearby like Farrah Park Primary School up there and a few upcoming hotels near the main road which is the main reason I feel rejuvenation is gonna happen in the area. I mean who's gonna stay in a hotel with nothing to do you know it's gonna be a boring area. So because of that my view is that this BTO also has a really solid exit strategy if you're looking at a 10 year horizon that's how long a master plan usually takes to come into fruition. Ah, Serang up next with 330 units comprising four and five bedrooms so this is really family oriented and it's also a really small BTO. First glance we're in the middle of a landed neighborhood so immediately my assumption is transport infrastructure and amenity is not gonna be so great but let's see up north about a 10 minute walk we have a small shop area near the upcoming MRT Serangoon Garden North MRT which is coming up in 2030 as part of the cross island line. Now this train station is pretty solid being two to three stops away from the major transit lines like the red line as well as the purple line being Amokyo and Haokang respectively. After all not all MRTs are built equally so being near a good one 
like this one is a pretty good find. But till the MRT is built, you'll have to rely on the current bus network to get around. I think the nearest MRT would be the Serangoon MRT, the purple one. Looking at the master plan, this site sits on a plot ratio of about 2.7, which makes sense because you are in a low-lying residential area. So even though it's a low plot ratio compared to the surrounding, it's fantastic. You get amazing views and you can expect to see awesome views actually from middle floor onwards. This site is also about 10 minutes away from Serangoon Garden food area with like the Chom Chom and you're also near small parks, a basketball court and a yeah, a Japanese cemetery nearby. A few primary and secondary school options near Aokang area so you know kind of alright. Not too much going for the area but you don't really see a lot of BTOs in Serangoon to begin with and with the upcoming MRT, I'll say the exit here is also pretty solid as well. Now our last district is everyone's favourite district which is Tenga. And this time around we have two sites for Tenga. Our first site has 970 units with a mix of 2, 3, 4, 5 bedrooms. So because we have two sites, I'll be referring to this one as Small Tenga, Tenga Small obviously because it has lesser units. So let's just jump straight into the master plan because Tenga has nothing right now. So it's a lot easier to see what's going on in the, you know, the colorful map of the master plan. Our site is here, kind of weird looking with a 2.8 plot ratio like most land parcels in Tenga. And I think what stands out is you're near the PIE highway. That's not great, but you do get a green buffer right over here and the length is about 100 meters. That's quite sufficient to be honest. And highways tend to mean also a bit of an unblocked view because there's no buildings right near you, right? Up north, you're really near the upcoming Tenga Park MRT that will go live in 2028. Tons of schooling options as well and you'll also be near this awesome park with a mini man-made lake right over here. Shopping options is kind of decent with the nearest commercial block about 10 minutes away. Now the biggest issue for Tenga is that there is so much supply gonna be entering the resale market at about the time of MOP for this particular site. Now of course this means that you're going to be facing a lot of stiffer competition and it's going to be a lot harder to sell your unit for a good price, especially if there are better options in the market. The very last site we have, which is also the largest one we have, is in Tenga with a total of 1,990 units for two, three, four, five bedrooms. We we'll call this site Tenga Big or Big Tenga because of the larger land parcel. Similar to the previous Tenga site, we're going to be looking at the master plan, and this area has a plot ratio of 2.8 as well. Not similar to this site, however, is this one has pretty amazing accessibility to Tenga MRT and the major shopping zone area of Tenga right here. So kind of imagine living two minutes away from Waterway Point if you were in Pongo right now. On top of that, you've got a bus interchange towards the south and you're really close to the largest park area in Tenga. And if you get lucky, probably the best views in this neighborhood. That's of course if you actually get north facing units. Pretty close to schooling options nearby. I would say this is one of the rare highly localized BTOs where everything you need for a family is within like arm's reach and it's probably one of the best Tenga sites I've seen so far. Only downside is that this is in Tenga, so it's probably going to be facing a lot of high supply in the resale market coming up soon. But with a unit in this particular area, I'll probably say that this is probably going to be one of the first to get snapped up by the resale market, so you're pretty safe in terms of an exit plan compared to the previous Tenga small. So because of that, I'll say it has a pretty safe exit option as well. <sighs> Okay, so some pretty solid BTOs this time round. So let's actually score them to see which one is the best in my opinion. Now note, I'm not actually considering PLH in this little assessment because at the point of the recording, I don't actually know which site qualifies for the PLH or not. The Dog site, mature neighborhood, good schools, and a easy access to transportation. Pretty solid exit from the base of rejuvenation as well as the tight supply. So because of that, not much cons except for maybe the okay-ish matter in the area. So because of that, I give it a score of about 7.10. Kalangwampo, very, very central area, near tons of amenity and transport options, 
Views are also pretty good with some kind of pretty good schools in the option as well. Neighborhood regeneration is also really good like I mentioned with the hotels coming in so that's good exit strategy as well but neighborhood might be a little bit busy or noisy. That's more of a personal preference. Because of that I give it a solid 8.10. So Rangoon side, good views. I think the exit is also pretty solid with the tight supply in that area. Okay, amenity, I think the thing that really suffers is the transportation option that's only coming up in about maybe five to seven years. So till then, I would say this site is about a 6.10. Tengah Small, which is the small site, is near a park, upcoming MRT and some schools. But it's near a highway and with so much competition in Tengah in terms of supply, I'm just gonna give it a 3.10. Tengah Big, which is the big site, is within reach to major Tengah shopping centers, uh, parks, as well as schools. You get a MRT and a bus interchange, as well as great unblocked views, probably one of the best in Tengah. Not much cons in the area except that, you know, you're actually in Tengah. But nonetheless, I give this a really good score of 9.10. I think this is probably one of my favorite Tengah sites. I think it is the best thing I said, in my opinion. So there you go, that is my favorite site. To be honest, a lot of these BTO sites this time around are pretty good, except for Tengah Small. Uh, and I really hope you enjoyed my coverage of the May 2023 BTO. If you like this sort of stuff, give me a like. And if you don't, give me a dislike. I'm totally cool with that. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer any questions you have. And if you feel they're a little bit more personal, you can go ahead and DM me right here. This is my Instagram account. Feel free to reach out to me. I hope you have a great day and till next time.